What up everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about TikTok. Actually, it's an update on TikTok. I wanted to wait until I got to 10,000 followers on the app, and on January 28th, I finally passed that. So today we're talking about how I got there, and then what are my updated thoughts on TikTok. So let's go. <music> Alright everybody, so if you saw my very first video on my initial reactions on TikTok, that was just shortly after I had started on it. That was over in November. And my first post was actually November 16th of 2018. I made my first dollar on TikTok in December. It was December 27th actually, after I went live. And I passed a 10,000 follower mark on January 28th. So first I'm going to give the updated thoughts on TikTok. They haven't changed too much in terms of my view on its potential for you as a content creator or you as a consumer. And I'm gonna share some tips that I've found that got me to 10,000 followers in a little more than two months. The disclaimer I wanna throw out here is I did not have a massive following on Instagram. I am not somebody famous. So I opened up the app, started from scratch, that's zero followers, and now I'm at 10,000 followers. And let me be very, very clear about 10,000 followers. It's small compared to a lot of the people on that app and a lot of the people on social media. But the point I'm about to get across is the fact that I started from scratch, got to 10,000 followers. I said this multiple times in my first video on TikTok, but please find me an app right now that you can amass 10,000 followers in a little over two months still waiting. So while we're talking about the followers, I think that's the perfect segue into the very first piece on my thoughts about TikTok. In my first video, I talked about TikTok having potential as an app. And I have not swayed from that thought at all. I still believe there is a lot of potential within the app for the content that's being created on there and for new content creators. If you're trying to create a brand, if you are trying to monetize some other channel like a YouTube channel or your Instagram, TikTok is a great way to amass a following very quickly if you can put out some quality content content. I feel if you are creating content to entertain or impact other people, TikTok's a great place to put some time and energy into. So my updated thoughts on TikTok having a ton of potential for a brand new content creator or somebody that's already creating content and wants another medium to push more content through, thumbs up. And I feel the potential there is going to be strong for a little while longer. Number two is branding. I mentioned it in the very first video and did mention it bringing up the potential of the app. I think a lot of people look at TikTok and they immediately think musically or Vine. They think lip syncing. Yes, there's a lot of lip syncing and to be very honest, when I first got started, I did do some lip syncing to whether it's a comedy piece or some song, didn't really matter. You had to start creating some kind of content. I just wanted to get started. Why my thoughts are still very positive on the branding aspect of TikTok is because TikTok is trying to diversify the content that's actually on there. There are vlogs, makeup tutorials, people on there that actually take you on, on trips around the world, and there are very unique and creative people that do lip sync and try to get something a little different in there. The cool piece to that is that it's not just me making that up. That's actually me talking to the creator managers that work with a couple of people that are in the creator groups, which you can apply to on the TikTok website. One of the phone calls I had specifically stated that they are trying to diversify the content on TikTok and make it more accessible. Appealing is probably the best word. Appealing to a wider demographic versus the 13 to 24 demographic which primarily owns the app, which I also stated in the first video. You know, at this point, if you want my first thoughts when I was at 200 followers, I'd probably go check that video out. Number three is actually the free help. I still have thumbs up to the free help that you gain on TikTok. I actually applied to be in the creator program, got in after a couple of decent pieces of content. I've had two phone calls and been part of two of the Q and a session and the other piece that I wasn't really expecting from some of the group chats is actually getting more involved and connected with some of the other creators on the app which is really cool other people actually trying to do the same thing brand themselves build a following impact other people entertain it's a whole bunch of other people doing that same thing on an app that's not completely saturated so quick overview of what we just talked about potential still completely there for TikTok two and a half months later and I think it's going to continue number two branding the branding opportunity is still there you are branding yourself with your own content. And three, the free help still gets a thumbs up from me. We're part of a creator group. We're connecting with other creators and we have people that are actually regularly communicating with us on how to make our videos and content better. So overall, I'm still very confident in what TikTok is trying to accomplish in both entertainment and impacting other people through content creation. I think TikTok provides a great 
app for the content creators and the content consumers and I, I really do feel it provides it an escape for some people that are just trying to have fun on an app. So on to the path to 10k. 10,000 followers in the grand scheme of things is not really that big of a deal. There are people with millions of followers, people with millions of view on their YouTube channel, on Instagram, on TikTok too. But the point I'm trying to get across is I had no help. I had no fake followers. It was just me in two and a half months with help from content managers in terms of feedback and then my own ability to push out content on a regular basis. So I'm gonna share four tips that I think were the most impactful for me to get started and to continue to grow the following I have on TikTok. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. I'm saying these are the things I think worked for me and I feel pretty confident based on the views. So tip number one is gonna be find your own voice. <laughs> what I mean by that is that the app does have a lip syncing. When I first got started, I did have a couple of lip syncing videos like this one. So what do you look for in a girl? I like a girl who's really loud and outgoing. Oh my God, that's so me! He's also kind of shy, low key and reserved. Oh my God, that's so me. But that wasn't what my ultimate goal was and that's not really what I wanted to be branded as on there. The reason I bring that up is because a lot of different people have found a massive following doing things that are not lip syncing. I started pushing out flying videos, I started pushing out travel videos, and those also started doing well. So just because you think it's lip syncing, I'd actually challenge you to go check it out and see if you can post content that grabs attention that speaks more to you. Tip number two is actually posting content. You might think that's actually the dumbest tip you've heard. But there's a lot of merit behind that. There are a lot of people on TikTok that just don't post that often. You need to post on a regular basis and also be consistent with it. About two weeks after I started with TikTok, right around 200 followers, I have been posting every single day. I am at 84 videos over 60 days. Just to show you guys, you can kind of see the 10K and then there's 84 videos right above that. Before I move on to tip number three, what's my trick there? Because I think a lot of people are like, I don't have the time to do that shit. I get it. I work at a startup trying to figure everything out on the sales side. I am flying regularly. I've got real estate. I'm trying to do YouTube. There's a lot of shit going on. Where is somebody working a normal job going to find time to do that. Other than the cliche response that if you find something that you're passionate about and want to create content, you're going to make the time, which I do believe in. The easy answer, the way that we can actually make this happen would actually be recording a whole bunch of videos in one day. So what I'll do and what I have been doing is the days I record YouTube or the weekends where I have a little bit of time, I'll spend one or two hours recording 10 to 15 videos. When you record those videos, you can basically just load them up in your profile as a draft and then post them throughout the week one per day. It allows you to post content on a regular basis without you having to stress every single day about posting something on TikTok. And what does that do? That will show your followers that you are active on the app. That'll show the actual TikTok algorithm that you're active on the app. And lastly, the more content you push out, the better chance you have of building a following and actually getting a video that goes viral on the app. Tip number three is actually to just interact with your followers. If you're building a following, especially on TikTok, just interact with the people that comment on your videos, that like your videos, that share your videos, that do duets. If you don't know what a duet is, go check it out on TikTok. The key here is just to respond though to your followers. I've literally had people respond and comment on my videos and when I comment back, they seem shocked that I actually commented. I have a couple that say, I can't believe you responded. Oh my God, you replied. Tip number four is going to be create content that's for the app. What do I mean by that? TikTok has created a couple of different guidelines for creating content on the app. One of which is 15 to 30 second videos, short form videos. Videos that are actually in the vertical format. The video tells a story and actually makes the user want to watch the entire video. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make just a TikTok compilation so that you can see it and see some of the videos that have done the best for me. I'll share the views and the number of likes and these videos are actually gonna be within that two and a half month time frame. So just an overview of those tips I had for you. The very first one is to find your own voice on this app. Really that tip has to do with any social media that you're trying to do. Make sure that you're being you and don't try to be anybody else because it's a waste of time and well, you're not anybody else, you're you. Does that make sense? Tip number two is to post a ton of content. I'm doing a post a day right now and it's super realistic. Number three is to just interact with the followers that you have started to amass. Show that you care about the people that are following you because you're creating content for them. And number four, make content that is for the app. 
TikTok. That's all I got for you today. I hope this video was helpful. For those of you that are actually interested in building a following, want to get to 10K, want to get past 10K, I know I don't want to stop there. And for those of you that are just interested in learning about a new app, if you guys like the video, go ahead and press like. If you want to see more content about building a brand and my personal mindset as we go through this, and of course, bucket list items, go ahead and press subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because then I'll let you know when I post a video. If anybody has comments about your thoughts on TikTok, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See you later.